shit. You know, stored shit right there. Now, guys, I really honestly don't want to make this video, but somebody got to put on that vest and be the bad guy. I had to put on the vest to be the bad guy. Now, I don't know what religion or what spiritual world y'all live in, but it's a lot of women running around here that's acting like they divorced. And it's a lot of women that's really divorced. But vows say to death do you part. Now, hear me out. If your husband is still alive, if he raped you, beat you, punched you, did you wrong, you found somebody else, if he's still alive, that's still your husband. If you was married to this guy and he's still alive, you divorced him legally and got married to somebody else. In God's eyes, your husband is the first one. That's why ladies need to be okay with saying I do. They got to be understanding of who they say I do too. So many people get married for the wrong reasons. That's why so many wives and husbands cheat on each other. Like I say on every video, the single people be the most loyal. Yes, I said that right. The one that's in a relationship be the most disloyal. A single woman, a single man, they have pride about it. They pussy and dick. They just ain't going to give it to you. Somebody that's in a relationship with somebody going to give it to you. You can take back whatever, whatever to their significant other or their partner. So if they both out fucking, come on now. Come on now. But with that said, a lot of people don't want to hear that. So the same thing for guys. If you were married to her and her, you got a divorce legally, and the first one's still alive, you are married to her. Now, let me tell you something about karma. I don't know if y'all believe in karma. Listen, if you're fucking people wives, right? I hope you don't ever get married. I hope you be very careful when you pass the traffic trucks. I hope that you be very careful when you walk out your house because of karma with a capital K. Listen, guys, it's a difference when you're fucking somebody, girlfriend or fiance, but wife, wives, niggas will kill you over a bitch that they just fucking. Imagine wife. Now, a lot of you guys make excuses. They separated. No, they're still married. She still got his last name. So many girls running around not telling people that they married. So many girls running around telling people that they got a legal divorce and they really don't, but it don't even matter. And I know a lot of women, the only women that's gonna detest this is the women that didn't got a divorce. It's never over until the end. Look at the vows. What do vows say? To death do you part. So I don't mean no harm. And the reason why I'm making this video, I know a girl that just did a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with me. I don't tell no names, where they from, no ethnicity or nothing. She really was delusional. And like I tell people before they even book the $100 FaceTime call, if you want me to tell you my opinion, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. The girl told me that she got one husband, the second husband, and both of them was abusive. So now she's talking to another guy that's showing the same signs, but he want to get married. Hmm. I told her the first guy that you hate, that's who you married to. The second marriage is fake. The third one going to be fake until the first one die. I hate I told her that. She told me that my second husband is planning on taking that nigga out anyway. I said, well, still, until he take that nigga out, that's still your husband. And she said that's what her mother and older people was telling her. But what is the point of the divorce? I said on a piece of paper. It's all a piece of paper. Now, let me tell you something, and I'm going to end the video like this. I know guys that got married for military purposes. I know people that got married for tax purposes. I know people got married because she was just pregnant. I know people that was forced into marriage. Rearrange marriage. Marriage ain't always the white picket fence. 
Now, I did a survey on my channel and y'all can check it. Oh, she's sexy. Y'all can check it. Y'all can look it up. I did a survey on my channel. I asked 17 guys, not 16, not 18. I asked 17 guys. I think one of them was a pastor, a couple of truck drivers, uh, some stay-at-home dads. I asked all guys from different ethnicities with different occupations, different ages. Even a pastor and a deacon and somebody played a keyboard at the church. I did three of them at one time. Y'all need to watch that video. Every one of them told me, never get married. I haven't met one married guy yet that haven't suggested and begged me to never get married. That ought to tell y'all about marriage. So I think if you marry the right woman or the right man, you can have the best life ever. But if I think if you settle or you marry somebody that you know that ain't for you, you're going to live like that forever. And marriage is permanent until somebody die. And people don't want to admit that shit. And karma do come behind that. Now, this is what I personally feel. And this is my own personal beliefs. If a girl been lying to you and she's married or she's divorced and she never, never, never told you the truth and you never, never find out, then it's no karma. It's no karma unless the husband find out and want to do you something. But it's no karma because you didn't know. It go by your heart if you know. And here's another thing, too. If the girl got a whole husband and a whole nigga last name, you think she ain't fucking him sometimes. You just met her a couple of months ago. She in love with you and giving you the pussy. Don't when you pop up at your baby mama's houses, can't you fuck? Don't your exes still hit you up? People be playing. People be lying like a motherfucker, man. And I'm here to tell you guys, listen. It's so many women that said I do that really meant I don't. So, guys, all the women that's in the world, like I tell y'all, it's 8.5 billion people in this world. Women outnumber men, three to one. So, about 5.5 billion is women. Guys, it's a lot of beautiful inside and outside women out here that never been married that don't have three to four baby daddies. Y'all just so quick to settle blind by beauty. Blind by beauty. Blind. That might be my next video. Stop being blind by beauty. Matter of fact, I'm going to add that and orchestrate that in this video. If you treat that badass bitch just like you would treat a fat hoe that you're trying to get taxes out of, you got a better chance of having a successful relationship. Well, we fuck up at us guys are put the prettiest girl on our team on the highest status. If you think I'm lying, the girl that you treat the worst, that you don't text back, that you don't care, is the girl that do everything for you. And that's because she know that you don't give a fuck about her. The girl that you treat the best is the one treat you the worst because she know that she a priority. Now, with that said, like, comment, and subscribe, man. Ain't nothing else to be said. In the comment section, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Go run it up. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one call for $100, go ahead and run it up. Run it up. Run it up. Contact me on Instagram. Subscribe. Like, share, it's free to like. And 72% of y'all that's watching me is not subscribed. That's very disrespectful. That's way over half. All you have to do is hit the button. Y'all don't want to see a black man win? I win, y'all win. I want 100,000 subscribers. I'm 52, 53,000 away from it. I want a little silver button hanging up. My wall empty, man. Y'all look out for a player like I look out for y'all. But with that said, man, um, with that said, man, y'all, like I said, man, I'm trying to make these videos, but like I told y'all on the last videos, man, I can't miss, niggas don't understand, you can't miss it. I got a lot of shit going on right now, I got a lot of beef going on. So like I said, I'm going to keep making these videos, and I keep running these videos back and back just in case 
I have to go sit down because I got a problem. This finger right here and this finger right here, they call trigger fingers. And I just like, they automatically just get to moving all the time. Like, like I just told y'all on the last video, four guys walked up and one of them asked me, shit, is everything all right, everything good? And next thing you know, it's a whole bunch of fireworks. And we in February, it ain't in July. You just heard a whole bunch of fireworks. Then the police pulled up and they couldn't find, they don't know what's going on. And, and now they saying, hey, this guy love fireworks. He always letting off fireworks. So, you know, I keep um, a, some fireworks on me. I keep fireworks, a whole bunch of fireworks on me. Um, this got about 30 fireworks. Uh, that got 30 fireworks. That got about 40, 50 fireworks. It's a lot of fireworks, man. It ain't in July. So, um, I'm gonna cut this video short. Give me 5,000 likes, 50,000 views. I'll make a part two. And, um, yeah. Yeah, let me end this video. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. All right, gang.